Oh, well, the boy's kind of small. George Shrinks. Oh, but it doesn't show at all. George Shrinks. Because he's always acting tall. George Shrinks. George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. Oh, if a problem should be found. George Shrinks. Oh, he's the boy to head around. George Shrinks. Oh, something big or something small. George Shrinks. George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. George Shrinks seems to find a way. The junior does a call. George Shrinks. Well, blows a bugle call. George Shrinks. And Mama keeps an eye on George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. George Shrinks. likes to say, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. Which is a sure sign she's not a ten-year-old kid. The only thing worse than losing is losing at something you know you should win. Like in my case, hide-and-seek, a limbo contest, or a supercar race. Speed shrinks to ground control. How am I doing? The sand dune took 45 seconds speed, two seconds faster than last time. Becky and I were up bright and early putting the Zupa car through its paces. We were entered in the Iron Car Rally, a miniature version of a land, sea, and air race. And we were sure we were gonna win. What George doing? George and I are training for a remote control car rally. Motrol? Yeah, for specially built remote control vehicles. George Motrol? That's right, George is driving our remote controlled car. Although with George, the control is less remote than usual. Seconds, three seconds faster than last time. George second? No, Junior. We're counting seconds because we want George to be first. We're going to win the rally, aren't we, George? Roger, ground control. why they say <coughs> hay is for horses. We might want to work on the brakes. It doesn't look too serious. We just have to clean it up. Then the Zooper will be good as new. George have boo boo? Junior, what were you doing out there? Vroom, Junior race motor. 
you want to enter the iron car race? Vroom, vroom, junior race. Uh, junior, that's awfully sporting of you, but uh, it's kind of a race for big kids. Junior, big. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's say it's for older kids. Anyway, the rally is for two-person teams. Vicky and I are already partners. You'd have to find a teammate. Hey, where's the fire? Partner? Well, uh, how to partner to you too, Junior. And uh, yip a kai -ay -ay, get along, little doggies. Want to ramble down to the chuck wagon and rustle up some grub? Moat gin? Moat gin, huh? Moat gin. Moat gin. Help me out here, Junior. Sounds like... Dad, Junior wants you to be his partner in the iron car rally. You have to build and race a radio-controlled car. Fire gin. Whoa! Or, or fire engine in Junior's case. <sighs> Thanks. Well, how can I say no to a remote control race and fire engine? But, Dad, the iron car race is serious competition. You have to build a vehicle that runs on dirt, water, air, and track. Becky and I have spent weeks getting the supercar running better than ever. I'm sure my partner and I can get the fire engine fired up. Moat racer! <laughs> hey! But, Dad, Junior might be able to race, but he'll never be able to win. Well, sometimes there's more important things than winning, Georgie boy. Like building the super coolest radio controlled fire engine racer the world has ever seen. Engine, race car, balloon, duck, boat. Or the super coolest radio controlled fire engine race car balloon duck boat the world has ever seen. Ha <laughs> ha, come on, let's hit the road, Jack. Me not, Jack, me Junior. <laughs> First thing this fire engine needs is an engine to fire. Engine? That's right. Something to turn the wheels. That's the drill. <laughs> See? <laughs> the drill. <laughs> hmm. We'll just borrow the motor in this old drill. Now, uh, we need a transmission. Train mission? That's right. We need something to transmit the turn from the motor here uh, to the wheels there. Now, let's see. I got it! I got it! I got it! Bubble bug, bubble bug! Here's just the gears uh, to get your truck in gear. So, the drill will turn the big gear, uh, which will turn the little gear, which will turn the axle, which will turn your wheels. <laughs> and now, does that turn your crank or what? Bubble, bubble, bubble! Bubbles? Well, I don't see why not. That <laughs> 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 Do it. Mojo go? Everything's wired up. Now we just gotta put the pedal to the plastic and... Yeah! <laughs> it works! Junior, I mean, of course it works. <laughs> Car fast? I imagine you'll be the fastest remote control bubble blowing fire engine in the whole race. Grab the wheel. Yeah, yeah. See, Junior, your engine is radio controlled. The signal goes from the radio there, uh, out from the antenna to the fire engine's motor. When you turn the steering wheel here, it turns the fire engine wheels, and when you press on the pedal here, the truck motor turns faster. That's the remote control bit. Go ahead, take your first spin. Junior, go! E easy now, little buddy. Uh, let's work our way up. Whoa! Aye, aye, Junior, look out for the table. Hey! Uh, oh, oh, okay, Junior. So let's lower down a little. 
me no do. What do you mean, you no do? Oh, oh I, well, I guess you're right. Seems to be a little stuck here. Ah, I guess we could use a bit more control in our remote control. I'll take the wheel, Junior. Huh, steering seems a bit stuck, too. Uh, I guess I'll try the emergency shutoff. Hey, hey. Oh, no, hold on there. Oh, oh hold on. Junior, race. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, don't worry, Junior. It's going to be great. As oh. soon as we get a few of the bugs out. Sleep race day. George! Up and at him. Breakfast is ready. George, breakfast. One second, Mom. <laughs> hey, what's going on? First things first. Breakfast, brush teeth, then iron car competition. Sorry, Mom. I guess I got a little uh carried away. A little more. Okay, stop. Perfect. Junior, race! Uh, Dad? Come on, you little... Uh, Junior does know that there's no way he's gonna win, doesn't he? Well, George, if we can just get this racer in the trunk, uh, we're already yay, winners. Yay. Jimmy, show them what we got. This year we have super knobby tires with super knobby tread to climb anything. Super heavy duty gas shocks to soften the biggest jump. An extra super independent four wheel drive. So every wheel turns on its own. Ready, Timmy? Ready, Jimmy. <laughs> Need to tweak that, Jimmy. Might need to, Timmy. I don't want to get overconfident, but. I have to like our chances. are gonna win this year. Like they do every year. This might not be as easy as we thought. Ooh, pretty. George, look! Whose racer is that? That's Ronnie and Reggie! Rimnod! That's a pretty snazzy ship, too. Do you think it's a real hovercraft? Only one way to find out. I'm George, and this is Becky. That's a great racer. Did you build it yourself? Neat. Can we look? See? Air pushed out by the motor is forced downward through holes underneath the racer. So it floats on a cushion of air. Right? I don't think they liked us too much. They don't talk to anyone. They're super shy. Might want to grab that fender. Might want to slow down. Might be too late. Come on, Junior. Time for you and me to make a little noise. Whoa! I didn't mean that much noise. GP 
GPS to pinpoint exact car location. Digital global positioning system receiver. Check. Rubber ducky. Check. Radar to determine vehicle speed and distance. Radio detection and ranging instrument. Check. Bubbly bug. Bubbles for the bubble bug? Check. FM frequency booster. To maximize radio transmission. Check. They sure have a lot of equipment. Yeah, those guys came ready for anything. Come on, Timmy. The race is about to start. Coming, Jimmy. Are you sure we're still going to win this race? <laughs> sure, I'm sure. I think. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hang on there. Come back, you little quacker. to make my move. Roger that, Speed. Here I go! That shrinks kid past the hovercraft. He's trying to take us, too. We'll see about that. Uh-oh! What is it, George? Wipeout? No! Whiteout! What happened? <coughs> Somebody made me eat their dust for real. That high-tech jet kicked up a little sandstorm to try to slow me down. Sounds like a dirty trick to me. Guess the tail flaps are a little loose. We'll have to take a look at that. Beck, I can't see a thing. Help me out. You should be coming over the top of the sand dune just about. Now! Whoa! Good job, Beck. Brakes work like a chart. Hmm, that guy's got the right idea. Hey, ground control, dig this move. Watch out, George. You're headed straight for a... Cliff, I know! George, what are you doing? Great move, George. It got you back in second place. And it was kind of fun. Fun, 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 fun. Mutual racer fun. Reggie and Rodney's hovercraft turtled. The air intake is sucking in water. The whole thing's gonna sink. Do they want me to grab it? Do you want George to save your racer? If anyone touches the racer, they'll be disqualified. Do they want me to do something? They don't want you to touch it. They'll be disqualified. What if I don't actually touch it? They're talking about it. George, get both? George, nice. We'd really appreciate it if George can save our racer. 
even if we do get disqualified. Don't worry about that. George will figure something out. Ground control to speed shrinks. Operation Hover Salvage is a go. That's Roger, ground control. I'm going under. Activating sonar. Sonar? Why do you need your sound navigation and ranging wave system to find the hovercraft? It's right in front of you. I'm not using the sonar to find the hovercraft. I'm using it to find... Earth. The cool thing about sonar is the dolphins can hear it even though humans can't. Oh, no. Face it, Becky. We don't have much of a chance now. Maybe not a winning chance, George. But we can still give it our best shot and have a great time. Roger that, ground control. Here we go. Way to go, George. You're catching up. Keep your heading at 350 degrees north-northeast. Roger, ground control. Hot diggity, Junior. That was some smooth sailing. Fly, Daddy? That's right, little buddy. Time for up, up, and away. Uh, I hope. Fly, Daddy! Well, I'll be Orville, Wilbur, and the whole Wright family. It does fly, Junior. <laughs> what do you think of that? Junior race, Daddy? Like a pro, Junior. The racetrack is all that's left. If you can gain a little ground there, you have a chance. to those losers. No way! You missed! Look out! Whoa! Carlton, look out! They're in the home stretch! Headed for the checkered flag! For their clever design, skillful maneuvering, and expert navigating, this year's Iron Car Competition Trophy goes to Timmy and Jimmy Fortevoce. We'd like to say... Uh, thanks. Yeah. I'm sorry, George. You lost because of us. Nope. Jimmy and Timmy won fair and square. Ha <laughs> ha! How about that, Junior? You made it! <laughs> Besides, a very smart man once told me that there are more important things than winning. Like having fun. And the prize for most fun vehicle goes to... Junior Shrinks for his duck-powered, bubble-blowing, fire-engine Zeppelin race. Me fun, George! Me fun! <laughs> I always knew you were, a little buddy. Now, you might wonder why I stopped to help the hovercraft when I had a chance to win myself. I thought about leaving it, but it just wouldn't have been right to let it sink. 
After all, what's the fun of winning the race if you don't have fun racing? I guess sometimes you win more by losing. Becky and I want a couple of good friends. Best of all, with racing, you can always get them the next time. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,